this new shit crusade new wave new drip to pay they trip suitcase man what is up guys it's mcd at wcr and i'm back today with another reaction sorry i haven't uploaded for a few days my mum's actually been in the hospital to have an operation so my mind has kind of been taken up by that but thankfully the operation's gone well and fingers crossed she'll be on the mend really soon and i can get back to her uploading regularly so today i wanted to check out the track dionysus by bts i've seen it mentioned quite a few times in the comments and the name itself kind of piqued my interest Dionysus he was I believe like the Greek god of partying or you know kind of creative expression he basically symbolizes liberation and freedom of creative expression so and he's linked to basically the formation of theater almost so I was intrigued by the title of the song and I really wanted to check out what it was about and I've seen it mentioned in the comments several times. I have a feeling it'll be quite a fun track, could be wrong. I've got the accurate lyric video up on the screen which was uh, kindly provided to me by Tina Paldan so thank you very much for that, it's really useful. I want to make sure the lyric videos and translations and stuff are all accurate because I know some of the lyric videos are not accurate so I wanted to you know make sure going forward I'm as accurate and authentic as I can possibly be. And one more thing before we start, just wanted to say thank you so much for 2,000 subs now. That is insane, guys. I'm, I'm just so thrilled that you guys are enjoying my reactions and rocking with me. So thank you so much for that, guys. I want to keep it going today. I want to get back into it. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let's check out Dionysus by BTS. Oh, that's a very East Coast sort of sample. New York, almost. Picture Jay Z on this beat. So I can't pronounce this word. Thiasis. I believe that's uh it's like a, a scepter. So yeah, it is about they are refer like literally referring to the Greek god Dionysus, which is cool. There's some historical mythology and context to this song, which is really interesting. <laughs> Art is alcohol, you drink it and get drunk. That's pretty cool, yeah, because obviously the more you consume art, the more creative power and expression you have. So that's it's quite an interesting lyric that. The live drum kit's really cool. It's almost got a slightly rocky edge. Nice kick drum. Really nice rhythm going. It's got like a marching cadence. <laughs> So basically they're talking about uh, their experiences on stage and as artists and I guess relating themselves to Dionysus and if we go back, I'm in front of the door to the world, hear the shouts when I get on stage. So they're kind of saying like, well I feel like they're saying when they get on stage and they get up there they're reborn as something different you know it's like 
I guess they kind of slip into this other level, this space between the physical and metaphysical, like creativity surging through them and they're reborn on stage when they're expressing themselves creatively. That's that's how I interpret it anyway. Hope I can hear it, hear his voice. So it's got that like marching kind of almost military cadence. It's quite a lot of auto tune on this one, but it works. Okay, now it's completely switch rhythm and tempo. It's more hip hop now. That was quite interesting, I feel. So, let me go back. Born as a K-pop idol, reborn as an artist. Now that says to me that they started as a K-pop idol. And I guess when you are described as a K-pop artist, you are automatically placed inside a box. You know, you are a K-pop artist. And he's saying reborn as an artist. Now, an artist encompasses much more than one genre. So I, I think he's saying they've gone beyond the K-pop label. You know, they're bigger than that. They, they are more than that. They are multifaceted. They're not just this shoehorned or pigeonholed into this one genre. I know K-pop isn't a genre, but a lot of people, I think, mistake it for a genre and they shoehorn and put labels on people which kind of typecast them into this one specific constrained box and he's saying you know we're more than that I'm bigger than that we are much bigger than that we are a creative force that has outgrown this tiny small box which I think is very true and he says it a few times to emphasize it so he's saying he's still thirsty after drinking and I know they mean drinking metaphorically they're kind of saying consuming art and creativity is kind of like drinking and he's saying he's still thirsty which to me suggests he's still got so much creative juice to give you know, it's like, even though they're doing all this crazy creative stuff, there's still so much more to come. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm ready to get hyped up. Yeah, I am. Let's do it, boys. Oh, it's a fast uh, It's almost gone into a slightly thrashy drum tempo. is the end of that that was bts uh dionysus all right so my thoughts on that i mean straight away if you were to tell someone i'll oh, check out this k-pop track by bts dionysus they're probably not gonna think it's a metaphor or particularly deep track about connecting their own creative experience with the god of 
basically creative freedom you know it's you don't expect tracks by artists like this to be so deep and have such depth and hidden meaning to them i like the fact in my opinion they were basically saying how they're thirsty for creativity you know they are so creative they're kind of bristling at the seams to let it all out and transcend the kind of boundaries that have been rightly or wrongly artificially imposed on them by the industry and by listeners you know they're trying to move beyond that and branch out and show the world they're this huge creative force which they undoubtedly are you know this track again it's it's different to anything i've heard by them it was it was basically a rock rap track there was the beat started off with this big east coast new york sounding hip-hop beat which i can imagine like jay-z or someone on and then it brought in like more rock elements and even some sort of metal elements towards the end when it sped up the tempo. Love the fact it had a live drum kit, which was really cool. I'm a sucker for live drums. I just think they sound great because it conveys a more performative sound that you can imagine live, you know, with an actual drummer on a kit, it would just give it that extra oomph and energy and drive. And I think it would be awesome to see live. Again, the rapping was great. There was a lot of little bridges and refrains and only two sort of substantial verses, I would say. The rest of it was like a mixture of hook, little refrains and bridges. There was that tempo switch about two thirds of the way through where it dropped into a more conventional hip hop track. I believe that was Sugar's verse. Could be misremembering. Bear in mind, I've literally just listened to it once. I'd have to go back and have a listen again. But it was cool, like, them taking inspiration and, and ideas from world mythology, you know? It shows to me these guys are well-read, intelligent, knowledgeable, and they're so much more than just, you know, random rappers and singers in a Korean pop band. I feel like... They're kind of flexing their, their, their intellectual muscle and their creative muscles by doing a track like this. You know, they're saying, look, there is much more to us than just a K-pop band. It was it was another dope listen. Um, I, you know, I can see again why it was suggested for me because it, it toes the line between rock and rap, which are my two favourite music genres ever. And um, it was a re really, really interesting listen. There was a lot of auto-tune and auto-tune can turn people off it used to turn me off i feel as i've like listened to more music and worked with it myself a lot more in recent years stylistically and aesthetically it does work for certain situations and i feel it worked for this track really well but yeah all in all guys it, it was another great track and i could be like well off with some of my interpretations and i'm sure you guys will correct me and educate me in the comments as you always do and I appreciate it because I love like once I post a video, I love sitting down and just reading through all your comments and I, I'm I'm learning, you know, and I I have a thirst for learning and gaining knowledge. I think that is part of the human experience and I'm really enjoying learning about these guys. They're way more interesting than you would think. Like, you know, there, there's so much to them and there's so much to learn and enjoy and appreciate. So yeah, really enjoyed this one, guys. Another great shout. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of the reaction and let me know where i should go next but it's been a pleasure to be back reacting again guys awesome to see you all i hope you're all enjoying your weekend and until i catch you next time please take care of yourselves and look after each other i'll catch you in the next one peace who this new shit crusade new wave new drip toupee they trip suitcase my name